Hey, hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how to draw a dog tag. Um, all the measurements for the dog tag are right here. Um, and I will be referring back and forth to this page as we're drawing. So I know uh, a lot of you have never used AutoCAD before. So I will be going through these things step by step and trying to explain everything as best as possible. Okay. So the first step into creating our dog tag would be to create the circle, the overall circle um, of the dog tag. And that circle is two inches in diameter. So we are gonna go ahead and get a circle. We're gonna see the circle command right here. So when you're in AutoCAD, you're in an infinite space. Uh, when you go and click the circle, you have two choices. You have center radius and center diameter. So if you go center radius, you need to type in the diameter divided by two. Um, and if you use center diameter, you just type in the diameter. So I'm gonna choose center diameter. Call, uh, I'm gonna left click and go two, type in two for two inches. And that is your circle, okay? So that is how we start. Um, after you have your circle, we're going to go to the line command right here, click it, and then we are going to make a line that is uh, 1.13 inches long, then hit escape to get out of the command. After you have that line there, you will just have to left click the line. You see you have three points. If you grab the middle point, if you left click on the, on the middle point and then hover over the circle, you will see that there's this middle point right there. So remember, you need to hover over the circle for this middle point to um, show itself first. So then after you do that, you click the line right there and then hit escape again. Um, so after you have these two components, you have the circle and you have your straight line. You're going to go to the line command again. You're going to hover over the top point and then without clicking, you're just hovering. Without clicking, you want to move towards the left hand side and then click outside the circle and then make your way back. And this horizontal line must go through the entirety of the circle. And then you must repeat the same thing below. So again, hover, don't click go into the left side and then click and make your way back um after you have those two lines in there you are going to go to the trim tool now the way you use your trim tool is a little bit tricky at first but when you get the hang of it it's fairly simple so you're going to click on the trim tool which is right here if you don't see um the trim it's probably because you have extents on so you can toggle back and forth between these two from this little marker here. So trim and then, so the first thing you do is click trim. Then you want to right click, right? So you right click and then you left click the lines you don't need. So remember when I make this like in the shape of a dog tag. Okay. So that's, and then when you're done, you just hit escape. So remember, I'm going to undo again. And then I'm gonna show you one more time. You go to trim, you left click trim once, then you right click to activate, and then you left click the lines you do not want. Okay, which are the outer lines. <clears throat> After you're done with that, you hit escape. So now we have our dog tag. So what I want you to do is erase that middle line. Um, <clears throat> you can click it like that, left click it or you can left click and then drag a green line across it and then hit delete do not hit backspace this is not microsoft word um you got to hit the delete button on your computer another way to delete it would be to uh just highlight it and then right click and hit erase so either way is fine no worries now that you have this overall shape we need to join the lines to make it into a polyline and the way you do that you're going to left click on the outside box and then drag this green line 
all the way across and you'll see that as you get going anything this green rectangle touches will highlight so you want to highlight the whole thing you want to right click you want to go to um again we would like to highlight all the lines and then hit j for join you can either click join or just hit enter and then this is going to join all the lines into one um after you do that make sure that you can click one line and the whole thing should highlight if you just click in and just one line highlights that means you've done it wrong um and you can't have multiple lines like have multiple lines in there you can see see that by it being more dark than the other lines so if you have those you might have issues so um yeah so just hit join enter um then the next step would be to offset so we're going to offset about point point oh six so we're going to hit the offset tool which is right here it looks like two double lines you're going to click it um you're going to enter what you want to offset so you enter the distance which is 0 0.6 enter and then after you do that you want to highlight your line and then you want to go inwards not outwards you want to go inwards and then left click and then hit escape and that is how you use offset okay i will show you one more time you go to offset enter in the distance you want to offset which is 0 0.06 enter and then you left click and you want to click left click again inwards okay so after you have that we need a little hole right here in the middle um that hole is located point uh point one seven so what we're gonna do is we need to make a line right from this point in this direction if you find that you cannot highlight this corner like that like when you hover over on the circle and this doesn't turn into a triangle or a square for you it's probably because you need to um just change your uh you need to change this right here which is your snapping points so you click this little tool and just make sure that quadrants is on like you see if i turn quadrants off it won't well it will align but you want to make sure that quadrants is on okay it did that because i have other things on we want to make sure quadrants is on go to the middle go in this direction i just want to make sure i'm in the middle okay good on well, this direction you want to go point one seven then after you have your line that's point one seven you want to hit escape okay and then you go to your circle again because we're going to make a point 13 diameter circle so again you want to go to uh, center diameter click the center of that line and then you want to do you want to do point one three enter and then you highlight your working line your construction line and hit escape and there we're pretty much all set with the dog tag now the last thing is to put your name on it and we're going to also do the top and right side views real quick okay so after you have that um just go to this big text letter right here you want to click the text click it here so click text click it inside the inside the dog tag make a box then click and then you're able to put your name on it okay and then just put a class of 2025 20, which that's your class um you can see that my text is huge so you want to double click on it highlight it and just change the size over here i want to change it to an eighth um you can put one divided by eight and that should help it see you can also highlight it and center it like this okay and then move you can highlight your text and then click the box here to move it over all right so that's how you do that and now we're going to work on the top view so the first thing we're going to do is get a line remember i select the line click the middle go up i'm going to go up 
uh, one inch. No, I'm going to go up a half inch. Okay. And then what I want to do is hit line again, go to the middle here, and then make a line going straight up. And I'll do the same. If you would like to, you can just hit right click and hit repeat line. Or you can continue going back. But I'm going to right click and hit repeat line. And then I'm going to go here. And I'm going to go up. And then I'm going to repeat the line and make a line from here to here. You see that? So I brought these up. These are my guidelines. This is my line telling me how far I want to be away from the part. Then I'm going to offset. I'm going to offset one eighth of an inch, which is 0.125. Enter. Go from here to there. And now we're going to erase this line. And then we're going to trim. So trim. Left click trim, right click, then left click what I don't want. Okay. <clears throat> and now I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. So again, I'm going to click line. I'm going to go to the edge of my dog tag. I'm going to go a half inch this way. And then I'm going to extend these lines. So I'm going to click lines again. Extend this line going out. Extend this line going out from that point. Then I'm going to click and hover and go across like so and then I'm going to offset that line by 0.125 or 1 divided by 8 which is the same number of line right there and then you trim okay and then erase and that is your three views of your dog tag so now we have the front view top view right side view okay uh, try your best I know this is new for everyone, so nobody's expected to know everything or get everything at first. After you do that, what I would like you to do is hit this print button right here. And then you want to go make sure this is a monochrome, right? Make sure your printer is set to PDF, drawing to PDF. Uh, make sure your paper size is a uh, eight and a half by 11. And then down here, if you have display or extents, just toggle it to window and then hit the window. And then you need to left click in window what you want to print out. You can leave it to best fit. Uh, make sure it's landscape preview. And there's your dog tag. You can hit escape or right click. Uh, and then you hit print. And save it to your desktop so then you can upload it to your google assignment sheet uh, mr paulino dog tag okay and that is how you do it and then save and then it should be open um and then you can also find it on your desktop and then you should be able to upload it to the google classroom page okay best luck to everyone thank you